Good morning. Today I will be attempting to break 18 world records, all jam-packed into this one epic video. We got the first record attempt underway, so let's start making history. The next record is for the longest virtual cipher video, which is an extension of the drum cipher to end world sickness. By the way, we fundraised $76.16 on this video, which I will round up to $100. So give yourselves a round of applause for that. But I asked you guys to submit some late entries, which you delivered, which made this video 1 hour, 13 minutes, and 32 seconds long. And I will upload this entire video to my second channel, the EMC Dump. And I highly recommend checking out those new solos, because there's a lot of really good ones. Now, I would also donate the money earned on this new video, but the dump is not monetized. But if we get about 3,000 of you to watch this video the whole way through, then it will be. Also, I will re-upload each of these records as individual videos to the EMC dump, without any edits or text on the screen. And that will be the video I will submit to Guinness, just so it's a nice, clean, and unedited video that they're watching. Record number three will be a reapplication for my 69er cadence, which I originally applied as the first person to ever play a 69th lit, but that got denied because being first isn't a record. So I will reapply for playing the most 69th lits in time within a musical composition. There are 12 of them. Next record attempt, we have the buzziest buzz roll in 60 seconds. Wow, such exciting stuff we got going here. So the actual title of this record is Most Drum Beats in a Minute Using Drumsticks. And the technique used to get the most drum beats would be the buzz technique. For those of you non-drummers, that means you're basically pinching in the front of your grip so that the stick bounces about three to four times every single stroke. And I honestly think it's kind of silly that this is the way the record is set. I believe it should just be alternating single strokes to decide who the world's fastest drummer is. And I made a whole video about that that you can check out. And in that video, I attempted this record and beat it with 2136. But I'm doing it again right here to see if I could beat that. And if you've been paying attention to this record list, you may have noticed that I will also be attempting the 60 second single stroke roll. Oh man, can I beat that too? Well, stay tuned and find out. Yep, another record in the books. Let's check out how that 15 minute roll is coming. Looks like I'm getting about 900 beats per minute so far. If I can keep that up for the rest of the time, then yeah, I'll beat the record. So we'll see if I can do it. But for now, I'm just gonna attempt 60 seconds of singles and see if I can break that record. Some of you may know that I won the world's fastest drummer contest in 2018, and I had to practice the single stroke roll for a few hours a day for like a month leading up to that competition to get my winning score of 1001. And since the competition, I have not practiced this one single time because I would honestly rather spend my time making YouTube videos. Uh -huh. Oh! So we're gonna give somebody else a chance here. Please welcome family man and button factory worker, Mr. Joe Mama. Okay, for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here is the video of the current world record holder. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a, an average Joe is not going to be able to compete with that. So we're just going to go ahead and fast-forward this, and... Wow, 720! What an average score! But can you beat an average Joe? I challenge you to set your metronome to 90 beats per minute and try to play 30 second notes for a whole 60 seconds. And that will equal 720 beats per minute. And every metronome click you go up, that will add 8 beats on in your minute. So see how fast you can go, then come back here and compose a comment and let me know what score you can get. The next record attempt will be for the fastest stick clicks in 60 seconds. So this is the same technique that I use in every single video where I tell you to click that like button and a bunch of like icons pop up all over the screen. By the way, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you go ahead down there and uh, yeah, why don't you give that like button a click. So basically what I'm doing, I am kind of doing an alternating single stroke between each stick and using the rebound of each stroke to get to the next stroke. And I broke down this entire technique in my last stick trick tutorial. You guys should totally check that out if you want to learn how to do this and challenge me to the record. Also, you may have noticed on the list that I'm doing a second stick click attempt. That is with a different technique that I think I can actually do a whole lot faster than this one. But we'll get to that in a minute. Wow, 
while we are just crushing it out here today, next record will be an attempt for the longest double stroke roll. Please welcome Masked Guy. The specific requirements for this record are to use a double stroke sticking, which is two rights followed by two lefts on repeat forever. The metronome must be going at 120 beats per minute, which we got that going in the headphones here, and the rhythm is 30 second notes. And Masked Guy is attempting to hold this out for 7 minutes, which is also 420 seconds. LOL. Which this seems pretty easy right now, but, well, <laughs> when we get past like the 3 or 4 minute mark, it <laughs> becomes quite a struggle, even for Masked Guy. By the way, Masked Guy face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. Let's check back on that 15 minute record. Okay, looks like I've slowed down quite a bit. We were at 4400 at the one third mark, which will put me slightly under the world record. Oh man, I better pick up the pace. Let's go! Anyways, next record attempt is the second technique of the fastest stick clicks. So it is pretty obvious that this technique is quite a whole lot faster than the other stick click technique. So the way I'm doing this is I'm holding both of these sticks parallel to each other with a small space in between the sticks. Then I am kind of just like spazzing out and shaking the sticks really really fast so that they're bouncing off each other and rebounding, causing one click at the top followed by one click at the bottom. And this is actually quite similar to the way a shake roll is done on a tambourine. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get a higher number with this technique, however, I'm going to submit both of these stick clicks as separate records. The first one for most stick clicks using one stick in two hands, and this one for using two sticks in one hand. Because the only thing better than having a stick click record is having two stick click records. Basic math, people. Basic math. Yeah! Oh man, I am on fire right now. Let's keep going. Fastest one-handed roll. Here we go. The technique I am using here is a variation on the hybrid rudiment known as the Casey Claw, which was originally developed by Mark Casey in 1993. Your standard Casey Claw is used with two hands and is a double stroke roll, but the variation I am using is a triple stroke roll using one hand. And I broke this technique down in my first stick trick tutorial video. And I suppose a more efficient one handed roll would be the gravity blast technique, where you use the rim of the drum to basically get a double stroke roll but using one hand. But my claw is actually a lot more consistent than my gravity blast, because I've worked on that a whole lot more for some reason. By the way, spoilers, I didn't practice any of these records for the sake of this video. I just kind of went out and did them all, and hoped for the best. But it seems to be working out pretty well so far. So let's keep going here. Man, what amazing momentum we have going in this video. Nothing's gonna stop us. Let's go to the next record, the most ping shots in one hour. Please welcome Steven Sassafras the sixth. Oh, here, I'll get it this time. I'll get it this time. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I'll get it this time. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think I gotta stretch it out real quick here. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, what a struggle. Speaking of struggles, let's check out this 15 minute roll. Yeah, I've slowed down quite considerably now and I'm probably not going to get this record. Would have probably helped if I actually practiced this before attempting it. But maybe I'll find a sudden burst of energy in the last five minutes. I don't know. Let's check on Mask Guy. Yeah, we're hanging in there and using any technique possible to make this happen. The rhythmic quality is a little bit rough, but, well, that doesn't matter. Quantity over quality. We gotta get through these last three minutes somehow. Okay, moving along. The next record is the highest stick flip, which this will actually be the most rotations within a single stick flip, because I can actually measure that. What an amazing catch. 
Okay, I'm gonna slow this down and figure out how many rotations were in that, but first, I have a challenge for you. These are the cameras I used in order of most expensive to least expensive. Can you tell which one is which? First person to guess correctly in the comments will win a heart from me. Oh man, what a fantastic prize. It looks like camera number two got the clearest image of the stick flip, so we are going to use that one to count the rotations. Point five rotations, not too shabby if I say so myself. All right, we nailed that height record. Now we're going for distance. Can I get a drum roll, please? Well, that was a pretty good throw, wasn't it? Let's see how far it actually went. What an epic stick toss. Next, we have a very fabulous record attempt. Please welcome Linda Pinta Santa Marimba. Hi, I'm Linda. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so awkward. Okay, so today I will be setting the record for the cutest snare drum. Like, just look at it. Such a cute pink custom drum wrap and LED lights. OMG. <laughs> of this very busy schedule, I will be opening some fan mail. So make sure you stay tuned all the way through to the end. <laughs> okay, bye! Ooh, just in time for the end of the Mask Guy record. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic job there by Mask Guy. That was a really hard one. But okay, let's go check in on Steven. Oh jeez, this is going extremely poorly. I still haven't hit a single pink shot. It's okay, here, I'll, I'll get it this time though. I'll get it this time. Oh! Here, I'll get it this time. Oh! It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're still just starting out. I'll, I'll get it this time. Alright, I think we see where this is going. But okay, we got five more records to attempt. But first, a quick commercial break. Hi there. I'm Manny McMahon, intergalactic tenor drummer and owner of Manly Man's Man Cave. Today's promotional product is the Manly Man's Extremely Tiny Tenors. OMG, I love these drums. Like, we all know that tenors is the most fun drums to play, but who wants to carry all of that weight? Like, <laughs> no thank you. Weighing in at 6.9 pounds, <laughs> the man's number. These drums are extremely efficient and practical for everyone to use. Oh my goodness, these drums are seriously the worst. Like, how the heck are you supposed to play anything on these without hitting a bunch of rim ticks? It's impossible. So come on down to Manly Man's Man Cave, where you can get it all for the price of what it's worth. Warning, these drums are way too awesome and extreme for any of you. Also, there's only three in existence and I will be making a video about that shortly. So make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell so you don't miss it. My name's Rebecca. I'm 16 years old. And Linda is my best friend in the whole world. I really love Linda. Today I will be attempting the world record for the most drumsticks fit in my mouth. So here we go. One. Cool. Isn't this just great quality content here? <laughs> yeah, you really thought I wouldn't get super weird in a video? Yeah, we're going there. Okay, we got just a couple seconds left in this 15 minute roll. 
Oof, not even close there. But it's okay, we got plenty of other records going for us, such as the heaviest marching instrument. Hi there, I'm Manny McMahon, intergalactic tenor drummer and owner of- Oh, wait a minute, you already know all that. You know, I gotta say, a lot of these records so far are really, really dumb and definitely not gonna get in the world record book. But I got a record that is for sure 100% definitely gonna make it in. We will be applying for the record of the heaviest marching instrument, which of course is the Manly Man's Quad by Quad Extreme Tenors. Advertised at 96.69 pounds, <laughs> the man's number. <laughs> That might be a slight exaggeration though. Okay, we got the extreme tenor drums right here, and I think the best way to figure out how much these weigh is for me to first step on the scale, and then step on the scale while wearing the drums. And then I'll do math to figure out how much they weigh. So here we go, let's see how much I weigh. 192 pounds. All muscle. I'm gonna have to stand on this like backwards because I don't think the drums are gonna fit. Okay, it looks like 276.8. Uh, so math makes that this number that I can't figure out right now, but I'll figure it out later. To set this record, I will march 100 yards across this field while playing a cadence and stepping in time to that cadence. As you can probably imagine, this really freaking sucked. The weight of the drums was making the harness bow out more and more as I went on, and I was honestly afraid that it was gonna snap in half at any time. But it managed to hold up, and I just toughed it out. Though the struggle definitely affected the playing quite a lot, like I was ticking all over the place towards the end. But that doesn't matter, quantity over quality. Beautifully done. And we're just in time to see Rebecca put 10 drumsticks in her mouth. Oops, lost one there. Think we're still good for a record though. Hey, I am proud of my life choices. Let's check back on Steven. Goodness gracious, woe is me! I still haven't hit a single pin shot! Okay, let's, let's, here we go, let me, let me really focus. Oh, jeez! It's okay, here, I'll get it this time. Oh, it's okay, I'll get it this time. Oh. Yeah, he'll totally get the next one. Next record is the fastest hand claps in 60 seconds. So I am using a speed clapping technique where each hand alternates striking the palm of the opposite hand, and I am using the momentum and rebound of one clap to get to the next clap. But for a comparison, here's a video of the world record holder. So he is actually using a double clapping technique where his one wrist actually strikes the bottom of the other wrist on the way to the next clap. So it's kind of like a double stroke roll in drumming. And yeah, I don't know how to do this one, so there's no way <laughs> that I'm gonna catch up to this guy. But I'm gonna try. Oh, not even half as fast as the world record. Epic fell right there. Mm. Next, we got the fastest finger snaps in 60 seconds.
Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like, uh... It sounds like something. So the technique I am using for this finger snap is not your traditional finger snap. I am using my pointer finger to basically smack into my thumb and middle finger. So I'm just keeping my pointer finger relaxed while keeping my thumb and middle finger tight and then just whipping that finger into the other fingers, creating the snap. Yeah. Wow, that was actually pretty good for never having done that before. But not a record. Mm. Next up, we got the most pull-ups, which the current record for this is 68. And, uh, yeah, I definitely can't do that many. So I'm gonna do the most pull-ups while wearing a snare drum. Yeah, because I haven't flexed enough in this video already. Okay, last thing, we just have Steven finishing up his ping shot record. Oh my goodness, we're seriously running out of time, but I need to get one. Oh, oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh poor Steven. He tried so hard. I seriously don't understand. I, I just had to get one single ping shot. Like, why couldn't I just... All right, we successfully broke 13 world records in this video, but no, I am not going to submit all of these because I know some of them will get denied and there's an application fee for each entry, so I don't want to waste my money. So sorry, Linda, cuteness can't be measured, so that's a definite nope. Also not going to submit the pull-up record because I think wearing a snare drum, that's just really specific and honestly, anyone could just hold some random thing, do some pull-ups and call it a record. For the same reason, I'm not going to submit the farthest stick toss because anyone could just throw a random object and call it a record. Now the sticks and mouth record, I am very certain that that will get denied for the same reasons. However, just the thought that someone will have to watch this video and make an accurate assessment and give feedback on it, that, <laughs> that's just kind of worth it, honestly. But I don't know. I'm gonna leave that one as a maybe. I'm also not going to submit the longest double stroke roll because I think the requirements for this are just too specific to be a world record. This is just more of like a drummer's internet challenge sort of thing, so I think we'll just keep it at that. I'm also not going to submit the fastest one-handed roll. This is another thing that I think is just a drummer internet challenge. And since Guinness accepts the buzz technique as the fastest drummer. For the fastest one-handed drummer, I could probably just do a bunch of buzzes and then get a way higher score. Actually, I might do that in a different video and then submit that. So that leaves us with seven records that I will submit, and possibly eight. And there will most certainly be a follow-up video to this one, so make sure you stay on the lookout for that. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Fan mail with Linda. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so right now we have a letter to open. This one is from Alana from Texas. Thank you so much for writing to me. Dear Linda, that's me, you are the best female snare player in the world. Oh, thank you so much. Your Learn the Beats video for the Barbie Girl solo was really funny. <laughs> oh, I try. You are one of my inspirations to keep practicing and try out for my school's bass line. Do it, girl, all right? Keep up that hard work and get on that bass line. Greetings from Texas. Hashtag female drummer represent. Yes, girl. Absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Alana. I really appreciate that. So, okay, that's the end of the video. Make sure that you click that subscribe button. Also, can we just take a minute to appreciate that we have 58 subscribers on my channel with no content? <laughs> can we get to 100? I think we can. And also, make sure that you ring that Liberty Bell and click that like button. And also buy some custom merch such as this t-shirt or all of this other stuff in Rebecca's room. That girl might be a little bit too obsessed, honestly. I think I should have a talk with her. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!